everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're here at Chef on Call in Waterloo, Ontario. It's this place located in the hub, which is essentially between the two universities. So it's super cool about this place, guys. Fast, delicious, awesome food. And they are literally open like all hours of the day. So in front of me, I have a large variety of items, including their big chipper burger, which has Doritos on it. I got a spicy chicken crunch, which is really cool. So you can actually like customize everything through the app. So I literally got this chicken sandwich with three, yes, three chicken freaking patties, which is freaking amazing. And then I have a maple crisp, this is another chicken sandwich. I have a Caesar wrap, I have a gourmet burger. I have a buffalo wrap. Then here on top, I got a mushroom melt. I got a king of the ring with another two patties. That is a big, big, big burger to say the least. And then last but not least, one with a honey crisp, which is another delicious chicken sandwich here. So should be a lot of fun. It looks absolutely delicious. So let's dive on in, we'll eat this. I also have some popcorn chicken, some of their famous chicken tenders as well, and a few curly fries. They're very well known for their curly fries with all their house-made sauces, all that good stuff. Of course, I have myself some lovely ketchup. So let's dive on into this thing. Looks delicious, should be fun, and uh, that's about it. So uh, let's get eating. All right, so there's many places we could start. So I don't really know. I'm gonna think I'm gonna start, I'll probably start right here. Um, let's do this honey crisp. This is the one of the fried chicken sandwiches. Looks very, very delicious. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that sauce just running down the side. So let's see. Spicy, honey, sweet, all the above. I got, like I said, we'll go out their sauces here. The hot sauce, garlic sauce, like I said, making themselves. So let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. So they're hand breading their chicken here. That sauce, oh my gosh. Mmm, mmm. Oh my god. I'm getting onions, I'm getting like kind of sweet relish. Mm. That is flavorful. Mm. Really nice sweetness. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. That was a great place to start. Amazing. No complaints about that. I'm diving into some of these famous tenders. Another good place to go. So this here is on the top to their hand breaded, lovely looking tenders. I have their garlic sauce here. They say this is amazing. These are really like thick mayo. Mm. Very flavorful. They have a hot fire sauce here. So I do like spice. Mm. Getting the lovely pepper. It's a little bit like a sweet chili in a way. More kick though. This is their honey Dijon. I believe this is what actually comes standard generally with the chicken tenders. That is amazing. It's a really thick mayo. It's kind of like a kippy mayo in a way. Great flavor. It really sticks to the food. Diving into some more of these tenders. I'm going to try their spicy mayo. Really nice flavor. Again, that super thick mayonnaise on it. I tell you though, the honey Dijon is fire. And of course, where would I be without ketchup? I have my friend Mr. Ketchup. I love ketchup, so of course I gotta try. 
Lovely tenders and lovely ketchup. Mm. Mm. No complaint about that. So the brand actually originated in like Montreal, Quebec. So it's owed to that. I know a lot of these ingredients actually come from Montreal. We got popcorn chicken. Mm. Nice seasoning on them. Not quite as like crispy as the tenders. But given the pack, a big pack of flavor. Holy cow. Mm. You can eat these by themselves. Here's a garlic dill sauce that I haven't tried yet. Mmm. That is delicious. Get okay, reminiscence of like a chip dip. Mm. But more accurately, a chicken dip. Very good. So we've got eight tenders. And it's a significant amount of chicken. Mm. Nice and moist. Serious crunch on them though. I'm gonna try one of the burgers. I'll go with this uh, mushroom melt. This is one of the favorites. Got mushrooms, lots of cheese, bacon. Mmm, oh wow. Mm. Super juicy. Wow, that burger patty is nicely, like, definitely a seasoned patty. Spices. I can't believe how moist that is. It's almost like just dripping. Mm. Bacon's fantastic. They use like the fire grill. Really get that flavor from. Damn. That is one tasty burger. Shout out Samuel L. Jackson. So in addition, what's really cool about this place is they're just made, like, they have delivery and takeout, especially delivery down to science, which is something I 100% approve of. One thing which frustrates me more than anything is getting cold food. So if you're doing like takeout delivery, they have basically a foolproof system to ensure it doesn't do that. Which is why I would recommend one of the few places I would say get a stamp of approval for takeout from Joel. Being they got like warming pads, the drivers are all them like their own. Even if it's Uber Eats, they're literally using their own drivers. It's pretty cool. This is the king of the ring with my double patties, which I customized. Lots of onion rings on here. This is a stack of beef. And we got barbecue sauce. There's some nice onion in the patty. That's huge. Look at this bite. And this is a Joel bite. Check this out. That is a full burger. Ain't no kidding. Not sitting around, that's for sure. All right, 
Very, very, very delicious. Lots of items, lots of food. All right. So I got this side done. Next, let's do, hmm. Maybe I'll do the, uh, let's do the spicy chicken crunch. This is my three patty spicy chicken crunch. I might have went a little overboard on it. Would the average person order a three patty chicken burger? Probably not. Would the average person order something like seven to nine burgers? Probably not. But look at that, that looks epic. Again, it's that super spicy chicken. I got cheese, I got that spicy mayo on it. Bacon, this is this is not a one bite sandwich by any means, so uh, I'm, I don't even, I don't even know how to bite this. I'm gonna like try to stand up and. I was a multi, multi bit sandwich. Giant. Absolutely giant. It is legit so significant you have to stand up to buy it. Huge. This thing I think is deserving of being its own plate. I'm just gonna dump ketchup probably right on it. Let's try that. This is ridiculous. Got some uh, pickled peppers on there as well. So you have this basically, again, you can customize your sandwich every one. And I kind of put it to the, the mm -hmm. test of how extreme you can get it. You can get it pretty extreme. So if you ever want, a sweet patty chicken burger. Go do it. That's awesome. I have the plate propped up a little bit. Put it down so I can reach better over this. This is insane. Giant sandwiches, very possible. Let's do a, uh, maybe one of these wrap, let's do, let's do a wrap. This is a buffalo chicken wrap. I do like a good old buffalo chicken. Looks very tasty and kind of like a classic, like, <laughs> excuse me, who doesn't like wraps? Wraps are just a good old lunch item, a good dinner item. Excuse me, a little lighter than a burger. Arguably lighter than a chicken sandwich. So let's see what this one is all about. Mm. Very pleasant. We got some like dill in there, some nice greens. That lovely chicken tender. And this place also specializes in milkshakes. And they have deep fried Mars bars. And they have cookies. And I've heard something is very magical about the cookies. All right, next we got the gourmet burger. Looking very gourmet, I may add. Nice bougie looking mix. We got the greens, mixed greens, loads of bacon. Look at the way that cheese and mayo just sits on that 
and some arugula. Again, that, that patty, that season patty they do. Super juicy, super flavorful. Just taste that meat on grill. Grill on meat? You know what I'm saying. One thing I'm gonna keep coming back to is those mayonnaise. Oh my gosh. It's kind of ill with sauces. Using that like thicker mayo. You said it's a game changer. Just stays on the burger, on the sandwich, on whatever. Adds a different like holding a mouth feel. Coats your palate. Caramelized onions as well. Yeah, I call this a gourmet burger. So, we're down to the Big Chipper, which is a burger with Doritos on it. They're pretty cool. A lot of crunch. I can only imagine. Plus, like, who doesn't like Doritos? I'm a big fan of Doritos, to be honest with you. And then, the uh, Maple Crunch, which I love maple as well. Very Canadian thing. I'm gonna adjust this light on my camera. <laughs> Excuse me. And then, of course, the Caesar Wrap. Won the Caesar wrap because like, how can you go wrong with the Caesar wrap? Just like, nice light lunch. Like this. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's try this maple crunch after we have that beef. And I will say, super impressed. Like I said, they got everything down to a science and grabs to keep everything warm. Even after all this time of like, however long I've been eating for. 26 minutes, 25 minutes, 25 minutes, plus, you know, the time to set my camera up, etc. It's hot. It's hot. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is like chicken and waffles on a sandwich. That is the exact flavor. You get the like breakfast kind of pancake syrup. Mm. The richness of that chicken, of that bacon. Woo! That is actually super impressive. I'm quite blown away. This is like chicken and like chicken and waffles. In a sandwich. Never have I ever had chicken waffles in a sandwich before. There's no other descriptors. Nothing else needs to be said. This is literally chicken and waffles in a sandwich. Now, that is intense. I mean, in regards to uniqueness, fire. Fire. Alright, 
And we are down to Caesar wrap, the chipper, and got some curly fries here. I want to give them a go. Apparently they are, again, one of the items that we're going through reviews, people mentioned they love the curly fries. Some of them are like, look at that. Look how long that is. They're huge. And that's why people love them. Kind of a cool item. I do like curly fries. I mean, it's kind of like a classic. And uh, I mean, when they're that big, excuse me, pretty photogenic. Oh, all right, let's try this the Caesar wrap. This item does not have the uh, like the breaded the fried chicken. The grilled chicken on it. And very lovely flavor. So I would kind of describe it because the Caesar wrap can either really go like two ways. It can be like really heavy and like rich. Or it can go like it's a light refreshing thing, kind of lunch. I would say so. This is more like a light refreshing one. You also put a nice light grill on that wrap as well. Bacon there is real nice. All right, so we're down to the big chipper. A little like bit of the pita wrap there. I'm not gonna eat the extra. I got enough food today. All right, so let's give this one a good old try. So this is another favorite of many. I don't think I've actually had burger with Doritos on it. Ugh. Excuse me, I think I've had like chicken wraps and salads with Doritos on it. Ugh. Excuse me. But I've yet to have a burger with Doritos on it. Luckily, that changes today. And I'm feeling this could be like a, a revolutionary burger. That crispiness, I look forward to it. Looks like we've got some barbecue sauce on there. Definitely a good old delicious looking piece of meat piece of food. So, let's try it. That is a 3D crunch. One more time in case you missed it. So the first taste in your mouth, the palate, Doritos. Second, you're getting that lovely kind of seasoned beef patty, which goes really well with the cheese Dorito. If I'm not mistaken, that should be like a whole half bag, like a little bag of Doritos on there. You're definitely getting a fill. It's like that nacho Dorito cheese, very unique. Definitely again a rich burger. That's some cool, cool, uh, like innovative uh, food items here.
Delicious. Surprising, let's say, like richness of that, that chipper there. But very, very good, very unique. We got some of these curly fries. Like I said, I just got a couple to try them because they're so photogenic, so unique. And huge. So, ooh. Actually, it's really nice. Nicely seasoned. Curly fries is kind of like a, I would say a classic. It's kind of like a classic. So, I mean, if you're going to pick like a, a potato side anyway, why go with regular fries if you get curly fries? Or sweet potato fries, I like those two, they have them here, so. All right, but that, that's pretty much that. That was really, really good. Like I said, they do got a couple milkshakes. I definitely wanted to have a milkshake. I think that kind of cold, refreshing creaminess would be really good right now. I mean, I did just, you know, body however many lovely chicken and beef burger sandwiches things. Very good. So let's get on some milkshake action. I'll be back momentarily. Everyone, here we are, we're back with dessert, which looks absolutely delicious. So we have a pot de creme, which is basically chocolate and cream. So it's kind of like a really thick kind of mousse pudding thing, whipped cream, graham cracker on top. This has been a staple of desserts for the whole like 12 plus years of this restaurant standing. So this is apparently amazing. I look so forward to trying it. I'll call it probably like a more like maybe French, uh, you know, kind of Montreal, Quebec thing, which is super cool. Got a Nutella milkshake. Shout out to, to these sealed cups. Look at this. No spillage. I really like that. Mm, I can smell the Nutella. Kind of an Oreo, glass of Oreo shake. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Also, look at the size of these. These are some hefty milkshakes. We have some of their lovely, lovely, lovely cookies. Again, these are supposed to be absolutely amazing. There's so much chocolate in them. So much chocolate. A couple different kinds of chocolate. And here we got a deep fried Mars bar which is a classic. I don't know if you've ever, ever had one. I'm a big fan. It is warm, it is gooey, it is extra savory. It is a Mars bar, which if you're not familiar, is kind of like a Milky Way, um, but delicious. And I'm super excited. This is, look at this. This is actually hefty. Look at this thing, this is epic. That is a, a big boy. I, I think normally people would cut this in half. Let's cut this to like get a, look on the inside they got a nice little chef's knife to do so oh yeah look at that look at that delicious gooey chocolateish on the inside that looks very very nice there's a uh, chocolate sauce powdered sugar give it a go mmm oh mm. oh my god mm. Woo. That is chocolate. Oh my gosh. Really nice batter on this as well. I've had deep fried Mars bars in the past, but never was such a, I want to say noticeable, significant addition that the batter adds. Mm. It's like, a, it's just like, it's really lovely batter. Super crispy, oh my gosh. I'm glad I tried this. I thought I had other deep fried Mars bars. They said, no, you gotta try it. And I'm glad I did. That is very delicious. All right, next, I'll probably crank in one of these shakes. Love milkshakes, love a good milkshake. I love these little pokey straws. Probably start with the Nutella. Woo, just like that. Love it. Salt vanilla shake. Nutella. I can tell it's all brushed on the side as well. I just scrape the glob and you tell it the side. Chocolate hazelnut. It does special things. I'm gonna try this pot de creme. I think it'll be, I don't know if it'll be similar. Kind of like a chocolate Nutella milkshake. Let's find out. Got a spoon now. Whipped cream. Graham cracker crumbs. I love graham crackers. 
Let's see, get a nice dig in that bottom. Ooh wee, look at that. That is whipped cream, chocolate, graham crackers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So I'm almost getting like, damn, like creme brulee. I've had a chocolate brulee, and that's what this is like. This is phenomenal. This at the bottom is so rich. You're getting so much chocolate, so much cream. Like I said, if there is any bit of burnt sugar in this, it tastes like it, like 100% like a kind of creme brulee chocolate vibe, like a chocolate brulee. Yeah, that whipped cream, that graham cracker, that chocolate base. Must try. Like I said, I've never even heard of this before. Pot de creme. Oh my gosh. I tell you, you wouldn't need to eat seven of these. Oh my lord. Mm. So rich, so creamy. I love the consistency. Damn. Like I said, this is phenomenal. Bought to creme. 10 out of 10 recommend. Let's try this. Ooh, love that. I like that noise. It's pretty satisfying to pop that thing through that that lid. But uh, let's try this lovely Oreo milkshake. Mm. It's a classic, like Oreo vanilla milkshake. One thing I noticed about the milkshakes, which is appealing to a lot of people. I hear, I think the number one reason why I hear a lot of people like they don't like milkshakes, they're like, oh, they're so, 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 so sweet. And I think some can be so, 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 so sweet. This one's not like, don't get me wrong, it's sweet. It tastes like a milkshake, but it's not like a slap in the face. It's a very comfortable drinking milkshake. Where I could almost say, you could go, like you could have this with a meal and not seem as if it was like too, deserty or overindulgent. Pretty good. I let's try one of these cookies. This is absolutely insane. Got to see how much. So first off, these things are dense. This is a heavy, this is a solid cookie. You could probably like frisbee this at somebody, hit them sideways, knock them good. Look at all that. That is a, actually a gorgeous cookie. Oh, and it smells good. So lots of different kinds of chocolate in here. I see like multiple, multiple of those. At least what? Count that. Maybe three different chocolate looking bits. But anyway. Whoa. Damn. Super, super, super soft. Super decadent. Now that's an intense cookie. Oh my lord. Yeah, you want a cookie? Give somebody one of these. This will knock you off your block. Wow. That's impressive. And anyway, like I said to everybody, we are in our time here, but. Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. Two thanks to Chef on Call. Really cool place. Staff are great. Staff are friendly. Again, one of the few Joel approved takeout places. They like to keep your food hot. I like the hot food. It works really well. They got a system to make it work. So, everybody, that's about it. Mm. I'm going to finish up this cookie. This thing is dense. Crazy, crazy dense. Probably grab it, finish up the milkshakes as well. But, uh, that's about it. I think my favorites overall today, mm, I'd say that maple, the maple crunch, the maple chicken sandwich. Like I said, chicken waffles, such a unique item. Definitely gotta try that for you, the uniqueness. 
The burgers were all really, really good. Um, caught me like, I'd say by surprise, really did. The, the patties were just like exceptionally flavored, super, like surprisingly, superly juicy. Ooh, cookie and milkshake. That's a good combo. Milk cookies, makes sense. But yeah, really enjoyed those items. Chicken tenders really nice as well. In regards to the desserts, man, that pot de crab, 10 out of 10, would recommend. But that's about it. So of course, till next time, everybody. Don't do what I do, but get yourself some food. Just not this much. Nobody needs seven or nine burgers or whatever we had there. But uh, yeah, really appreciate you watching, guys. If you ever wanted, like I said, check out Chef Uncle. And actually, you do it in Montreal, too. That, again, their flagship location over there. But I said, I have nothing to say, so I'm just rambling. So until next time, it's happy to have you happy eating. And that, have a lovely day. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day